Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome back to another Silver Squad Builder. So today's Silver Squad Builder is going to be my French League 1 Silver Squad. And I decided to do this Squad Builder today as I had a look on YouTube and seen a few other French League 1 Silver Squad Builders. And to be honest, most of them are just made around pace and it's just the fastest player stuck in each position. Which, to be honest, isn't actually the best team. I've gone for players in my squad builders which have the best all-round stats and who I think are going to perform the best in each position. So we'll go for my, we'll go through the squad now, and I've chosen to go for the 4-3-3 formation. And it's the 4-3-3 with the centre defensive mid, so it's got a holding player there, and then there's two centre centre mids. So we'll go for the goalkeeper first, and there's loads of goalkeepers to choose from. If you go and have a look at French League One silver squad, uh, silver goalkeepers, there's probably about four or five really good ones that you could choose. But I've gone for Pionnet or P Pionnet, whatever his name is. He plays for Montpellier. He's got 81 diving, 78 reflexes, really solid stance for a silver goalkeeper. He's six foot, which is okay, and he only costs 850 coins though, so that's nice and cheap. For the left back, you've got Sis or Kiss, whatever his name is. He is a left back that plays for Valencians. He's 85 pace, 73 defence, and 73 heading. He was the player a lot of people were expecting to be a centre back, so he would have been a really fast centre back. But in actual fact, it's been made into a left mid. His high, high work rates, which aren't ideal, but they're not too bad for a left back, does mean he's sort of up, back and forward, up and down the pitch. He costs 2.9k mainly because of his pace, and as I said, 5 for 8 high, high work rates. On the right back, and you've pretty much got two options. Uh, the, the two best options are Miguel Lopez or Vanderville. In my opinion, Miguel Lopez is much better value for money and has much better stats. He's got 83 pace, 74 dribbling, 74 defence and 73 passing. High medium work rate, 6 foot tall and he cost about 4.9k but he may be a bit cheaper now, I'm not too sure. Centre-back, so the first centre-back I'm going to choose here is Kone, and he has got amazing stats for a centre-back. 71 pace, 75 defence, and 79 heading, perfect stats. Medium, medium work rate, 6 foot 2 and 2.6k, probably one of the best silver centre-backs this year. And then you would have seen the other silver centre-back, and that is Zuma. A lot of people I've seen have been using Umtiti instead of Zuma, and that is only because Umtiti is, is faster. But Umtiti is much smaller than Zuma, and in my opinion, Zuma has much better stats. So Zuma is 70 pace, 74 defence, and 80 heading. As I said, a bit slower than Umtiti, but he is taller at 6 for 3. Also has medium, medium work rates, and costs 5.8k. So we go to the centre defensive mid, and again, a lot of people have been choosing the really fast options. But in my opinion, this is one of the best centre defensive mids in the game, and that is Anin. He won't do much other than just defend, but that's all you need him to do in that centre defensive mid role on the 4-3-3. 67 pace, 75 defence, 74 passing, perfect stats there for a centre defensive mid. Medium high work rates as well, so perfect work rates. 6 foot 2 and only cost 650 coins. As for the centre mids here, the first centre mid I'm going to choose and show you is Romeric. He is now playing for SC Bastia in the French League 1. Has 53 pace, 73 shooting and 82 passing. With 69 dribbling, 69 defence and 69 heading. So all round really nice stats. Fairly slow, that's why a lot of people won't use him. But his shooting and passing is absolutely amazing. He has medium, medium work rates. He's 6 foot 2, so he's nice and tall as well. He's fairly strong. And he only costs 2k. And he's got an absolutely cracking long shot. As for the other centre mid, centre mid spots, really up to you. You can either use Mvwemba if you want a slightly more defensive player, or you can choose Regatin, who I actually use, who's the Moroccan centre mid who plays for Toulouse. And he's got really nice all-round stats. Got 81 pace, 75 dribbling, 71 shooting, and 72 passing. High medium work rates, three star skills, three star weak foot, five foot five, and he costs 1.5k. As for the attacking players, I'll go for the left winger first. There's a few options here, but the best one is probably Gradle. Everyone will mainly use Gradle. Gradle mainly is probably there for the pace, but he's actually got really good dribbling and really good shooting as well. In his medium, medium work rates, which aren't ideal, you probably prefer high, medium, or medium, low, but he's still not too bad. 5 foot 9, costs 3k, which is quite cheap for a player of his stats. For the right winger, and a lot of people won't actually use Briand, they actually use Dira, the Moroccan right mid for Monaco because he's faster. But Briand, in my opinion, is one of the best silvers in the game. And if he was, a, for example, a striker, then he probably would be the, one of the best silver strikers in this game. He's 84 pace, 72 shooting, 73 dribbling, and 77 heading. Incredible stats there for a silver. He is 5 foot 11, high medium work rates, he's incredibly strong, he's got an amazing shot, and he only costs 4.1k. 
As for the striker, this is another one of the positions where everyone will use the same player because of the pace, and everyone pretty much will use Miyuka, but in my, I haven't actually decided to use Miyuka. I've tried him, and in my opinion, his shooting is really, really bad compared to last year. Only has four-star weak foot as well, and it's pretty much just pace in my opinion. So i tried a lot of different options. Uh, Tulio de Mello is quite fun. He's fairly slow, but he's good at heading. You've got Nelson Oliveira here, who's a really, really good option. You've got Atar here, who's an incredibly cheap option, only costs 400 coins. And again, another really good option. My favourite here is Germain, the Monaco striker. 75 pace, 75 dribbling, 75 shooting. Perfect stats for a striker. The shooting is what stands out the most. 75 shooting is a really, really solid stat. His medium, medium work rate is 5 foot 11, so he's not too small. Can win the headers, and he only costs 600 coins. So I'll stick him up there. So you'll be able to see the squad here. I'll show you this for a few seconds, and then we'll move on to some gameplay. So we move on to some gameplay now, and that will give me a chance, as usual, to talk about the squad in a bit more detail, and talk about the price, talk about the players individually. Things like that. So firstly is the price and overall it costs about sort of 29k, just under 30k depending on the price in which you get the players. Mo the most expensive players to be honest is actually the, the defence. Miguel Lopez, Zuma and Sis are quite expensive. So if you want some cheaper options you can probably get some for maybe about 500 coins to 1k each. And probably bring the cost of the team down closer to 15 to 20k. But in terms of the quality for the price it's really really good squad for the price you probably won't get that many better squads for under 30k in terms of silvers talk about some of the players individually now and first you've got the front three of Grado at left wing Germain at striker and then you've got Briand at right wing by far the best player in this team is Briand at right wing even though he's playing at right wing he scored so many goals I think he scored 12 in 11 for me which isn't too bad I think that's not including any disconnects or anything when he scored more that's a pretty good record to be honest for a right winger he's probably scoring more goals than anyone else in the team he'd just end up switching with for example Germain Germain would end up at right wing and Briand would end up at front and Brian would just make bursts forward and pretty much always score. He's got really good shooting, really powerful shots, got great finesse shots as well. He'd be incredibly overpowered if he was a striker and he would definitely be one of the best strikers in the game if he was. At left wing got Gradle and to be honest Gradle doesn't really score that many goals. He mainly makes some nice runs forward and the occasional cross or through ball doesn't really do much. You've got Germain at striker who I haven't used that much. As I said I've mainly used a lot of the other strikers and tried out all of them to see which was my favourite. And Germain was pretty good. I did like his shooting at 75. I think I'll move on to the midfield now and you've got Regatan with Romerick as the centre mids and they're pretty much the playmakers of the team they sit behind the front three and make bursts forward they play for some really nice through balls both got really good long shots Romerick in my opinion has some of the best long shots in the game a lot of people won't use him because of his pace but it doesn't really matter at all with his 53 pace he makes loads of bursts forward he's incredibly strong he's six foot two amazing passing amazing shooting so if you haven't tried him then you really really should with those sort of stats Sense defensive mid, as I mentioned, Anin is incredibly powerful. He's a really, really powerful sense defensive mid. He pretty much breaks up the play, plays it forward, doesn't really ever score. But his job's just to defend, really. And as for the defence, probably one of the most solid defence on the game. Not the best work rate in terms of the left back and right back. But it's not too bad. They make some nice runs forward. Never really score, but as I said, make some nice runs forward. You've got the centre backs, Kone and you've got Zuma. And they're probably two of the best centre backs on the game in terms of silvers, in terms of stats. If you have a look at their stats, they've got really good height. They've got really good work rates as well. And they're not too expensive. So they're really, really worth trying out. And they score a lot of headers as well from corners. And lastly, you've got Pionet, the goalkeeper. And another really solid goalkeeper. If you don't like him, you want a slightly taller goalkeeper. I think there's a few others which are taller. But in my opinion, he's the best French League 1 silver goalkeeper. So there we go, guys. That is it for my French League 1 silver squad builder. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like. And as I always mention at the end of my videos now, if there's any players in which you want me to review from this squad or any other players you want me to do player reviews on, please let me know in the comments section. And as well, if there's any squads that I haven't done yet, such as you've got the Liga Mexico and squads like that that you want me to do a squad builder on, then please let me know as well. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like. And thanks for watching.